Um, so what are some risk factors um, already for this disease? So age is one. Uh, typically, Alzheimer's disease and its related forms of dementia do um, approach or attack people that are older than 65. However, um, we know and we've met many people that are not quite 65 yet, that may be in their late 40s, early 50s, that are experiencing a form of dementia. Okay, so age is the biggest risk factor. Family history is second. If we especially have a number of family members with a form of dementia, then that increases our risk. It doesn't mean we're gonna get it, it just means it increases our risk. Unfortunately, women tend to be twice as often diagnosed with dementia as men do. Um, cardiovascular disease. So if we have high blood pressure or high cholesterol that we haven't taken care of and it hasn't been treated properly, then that increases our risk of having a stroke which could lead to a mixed form of dementia or vascular dementia. Diabetes as well, again, if these things aren't being treated, then it's gonna increase our risk. Smoking, and as well as a history of mini strokes. So oftentimes we may not even recognize that we've had a transient ischemic attack or a TIA or a mini stroke. They can be very little blips that happen in our brain, and it may just sort of change our functioning for a very few seconds. So we believe that we can control some risk factors and we can do that by these four top things. So challenging our brain, which we've got some puzzles that we've done and a couple more to do, making some healthy lifestyle choices, remaining socially active and protecting our head. So this is a quote by Dr. Anderson. She's a psychologist at the Baycrest Health Center in Toronto. And she says, there's no magic activity. It's just daily life. Involve yourself in activities that you're not already an expert at that are challenging for you and that you enjoy. So when you think about challenging your brain, you can do things simply as if you always comb your hair with your right hand, try and use your left. Or you always brush your teeth with your right hand, try and use your left. So that's kind of simple ways that we can challenge ourselves. As well, it's not necessarily going to learn a new instrument. That's certainly a way to challenge your brain. But perhaps it's learning a new song and not always going back to the ones that you already know. So it's simple things that we can do to challenge ourselves. If you or someone you know could benefit from the services at the Alzheimer Society, or if you'd like to get involved and become a volunteer, please visit your local Alzheimer Society.